Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 43617, 419-531-6097, JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com, and find the Facebook link in the description below. We're almost at 2,000 uh, subscribers here on the channel. We're getting closer. I'd like to be at 2,000 by the end of the month. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please, please, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Be sure to like, comment, and share these videos. we got this Tarzan, Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan of the Apes, written by Roy Thomas, illustrated by Pablo Marcus, and Oscar Gonzalez. This is from Dark Horse. A customer buy it. Uh, Kevin bought it. Yeah, he's going to talk about it a little bit, so take it away there. No, it's just, I, I won't show his uh, his face to keep his uh, his identity hidden. It's just a beautiful work of work art. They, they tell how they got started. Well, let's see, right let's see, see, just see the first few pages there before you. Uh, it's just... Okay. Volume one, okay. And they're hoping to do other volumes. All right, well, hope they do. Yeah, Star Wars. All right, and then they describe how they how they they started doing this. They are doing it also a new adventures series, but this book does the original uh, story by Edgar Rice Burroughs, and it begins with Tarzan of the Apes. But they also work the Jungle Tales in where they think it would work in the storyline. Okay, so you know you got the, you got the whole story where. They're stranded, and where the death of Tarzan's mother after her his birth. Hang on a second here. Okay. Well, what was uh, what was his mother's? Did we ever know what um, Tarzan's parents' names? Their names were. I well, mean, it was you know. Your, your his Greystoke. dad was John Clayton. Clayton. Uh, they were the Greystokes. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember the name of a mother, to be honest with you. I don't I don't think they ever said But to the Christ Tarzan never knew right his mother or his father. But then this is the story of how Tarzan, you know, his dad in his grief forgot to close you know, secure the door. And the apes, which were in the area that learned to fear the, his rifle, came in, went, you know, when he was screaming and. Hey, Joe Brian. And uh, killed him, but uh, one one she ape, Kala, sat there, and her her child had died, so she just replaced it with uh, Tarzan. Okay. Which. Damn dirty apes. <laughs> and you see, you know, of course, you know, they're talking about, you know, well, he can't do all the things that our children can do. And and there's some people who say theories these were, were really apes, but primitive men because they had language. But. Well, who's to say? We don't know. Yeah. You know, obviously, I think uh, Jane Goodall, you know, did her studies, you know, that they do have language. They have a language. Yeah. It's just theories they support. But then you see as Tarzan matures, he becomes, you know, more able to take care of himself. And then, but his intelligence shows because he figure he finds his and figures out how to get back into the hut. And he's got a bare butt, too. Yeah. Well, it's only after he discovers the storybooks and realizes he's different than... Uh, Really different than the apes that he he starts clothing himself. Ah, and he finds his father's hunting knife, and this is this 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 gorilla is where he learns that uh, the hunting knife is what it's capable of, but she. And there's his mother. Yep. And then he comes back for the knife, having, realizing that that is a great leveler for him, since he doesn't have 
the teeth to rend with. And right. then he learn he finds books that they brought in, you know, and he, he teaches himself to read and write. Interesting. Now, when did you first discover Tarzan? Um, well, I... You know, was it, you know, what was it? Was Johnny Wise, the original giant, Johnny okay. Wise movies. I mean, when I was a kid, those movies were played on weekends quite often. Okay. And I used to watch those. And then I discovered, uh, was it the 70s? They did the paperback reprints. Okay, so you never you never saw the, the TV series of the 60s that was on? I mean, that's my first... Real, I think you know that, and then also my oh, Ron dad. Ely. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. I remember that. But that, it was the, and, it was and my my dad would buy me would buy the uh, the the Tarzan the Gold Key Tarzan comics and Korak. Yeah, Gold Key. No, I. I but you, you were never exposed to the Gold Key comics. I seen them later, but, but, not, but not, 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 not. Yeah, those things are great. But Russ Manning artwork. Yeah, but um, it was it was Johnny Weissmuller's movies, and then. When I saw the book, I got curious, and the book was far better than the right. movies. So you never read like the DC uh, Tarzan? Yes, I, mean, I did. After afterwards, was they afterwards, they adapt, okay. they adapted the books more, okay. more faithfully than yeah. they did the movie. Yeah, I had movies. had all those. I had the the Gold Keys and the and then the uh, the DCs, and then when they went to Marvel with yeah. Roy Thomas writing the Marvel ones with John Buscema illustrated. This is Roy Thomas with Pablo Marcus yeah. and Pablo. Probably more famous for inking some of George Perez's uh, Avenger stuff. He was an inker, but uh, but as with most inkers, they're artists also. Right, and he, he's doing yeah. So and then this this and then eventually in this story they tie in, you know, this is still following the original first novel up to this point. Okay, but and. Then, this is where you know you see Tarzan and his his friendship with the elephant, but then you see where he meets. He learns about man. He learns, but he he's thinking you know the black man comes in this day that would be considered wrong to say, but you know the natives well, come in. Well, I'm sure the African people have no yeah. problems with that, and and they kill his mother. Okay, his ape mother. So so it's teaching him the violence of yeah. man. So and and that's the thing. A lot of people say that the uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs are too violent and too too uh, you know they're not. But he always made that he made in several books the comment that Tarzan would say animals kill to protect and for food. Right. Man's the only one kills just to kill. Well, I mean, if an so, animal yeah, is sport. going is, is killing just to kill, it's rogue and you have to put it down. Right. So it's quite, and then this is his, you know, Tarzan ate, you know, like the apes. They ate meat, he ate meat raw. Right. Which, you know, he, he must have had a great immune system because they would consider that these days uh, he should be dead because right. he's not cooking his meat. But in this, you know, he's thinking about getting revenge, but then it's like, no, that's not right. And as you can see, they, they do what some of the things for the ape language, and they put down here what that word he uses. Okay, the translation. Yeah. Translation is. So Tarzan had some compassion there. Yeah. Not to, even though he had killed his mother, that... So in his first, first interactions with a native tribe... Because he was so deep in the jungle, they, you know, until, you know, the the Europeans pushed him out, and they went farther into the, deeper in the jungle, and he was considered a demon be, by these natives because of. I'm sure, yeah, being tricks. a jungle man and and they you know, talk to the animals and. So. 
Let's so see. so overall, you'd give this book, what, what kind of grade would you give this book? Oh, I'd give it a uh, 9, 10, easy. Out of 10. This is this is fantastic, and then and then you, you see it you see it as Tarzan progresses. You know, as he becomes the as he's working to become the Jungle Lord. And then, you know, where he he sits there at, at times where he, he you know they they do um, he, he he confronts different animals. And it's his intelligence more, you know, besides his jungle savvy, that actually t gets him to survive. Because he, he learns to make a grass rope, but to make it strong by inner wool, you know. Okay. And and so that's how he survives, you know, gets it. And then he, he makes it so he, uh, you know, love affair, and then they, they're, they're, they're tying in the jungle tales. In where they think this is going, so Tarzan is going, you know, I, you know, his first love affair is with an ape, but he realizes they're totally different. They're not right. alike as he looks at other creatures and that they have, and he realizes, no, right. this is not. Yeah, ape with ape, uh, right. you know, tiger with tiger, lion with you know, elephant with. Yeah. So, and then he realizes, no, I, this. This is not, you know. They even have later in this, they have a story where he decides he wants a child, and he takes one of the, one of the, uh, one of the natives, natives wow. child. For, but then he watches as, you know, the grief and everything, and what a mother will do, even when they're f afraid for the child, and he ends up giving the child back because it's like, no, this was wrong. But you see his loyalty while he's trying to protect an elephant from from a trap. And you know, different names like Budo is is what according to this the apes call the rhinoceros. So you got a Tarzan is called is a Tarmagani because he has white skin. Okay. But he's captured, and then he calls, and then this is where you know the the elephants come to to rescue him. To rescue him. So you know all the basics, even that they put in those movies. Even though the movies you have Tarzan, where you know the idea of him not being able to you know talk in the way, but right. he was very he was a very intelligent man in these stories. And this is where he starts talking about the child, and you know the mother. You know, even though they grew up together, it's like, okay. no, you're not, you're not going to touch my child. Okay, so he took a child from from. Well, no, the, no, he he takes him from he takes him from in in this he takes it from the natives. Okay, but but he, but he was the first attempted to take from. Well, the, no, he just wanted to uh, you know you know be uh, basically a friend with the child, but okay. you know there. Even then, the apes, you know, treated him a little different and then the first, you know, which t Edgar Rice Burroughs sit there, the call that they have him go actually s is supposed to be the victory cry of the great apes. Okay. And, and this is a story where he's... Uh, Supposed to be looking for God, calling for God, and and the idea, you know, you know, there's something greater than I am. You're not here, you know, but right. Yeah, it's the native. Are you God? And then you also said you can find these online, right? Well, yeah, and I think what, I believe they're doing. I do it at the Edgar Rice Burroughs website, and okay. I believe they do several. But I think there is a subscription fee, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, okay.
the one animal he hates, the snake. Well, snakes always look at as being evil. And here's that is where he's going to take the child. Okay. And even though the child learns not to fear Tarzan, he feels all the he fears the apes, and the apes don't. So he has the the capacity to to reason and and to know right from wrong. Interesting. It's just fabulous artwork. It is. It is. It is amazing. I kind of leave you on a uh, on a uh, cliffhanger there at the end. Yeah, it gets pretty close because, as I said, they're doing the Jungle Tales, so you know, he gave, gives back and protects them from the lion. And then this witch doctor that you know, as it says, was seeks vengeance, but that's the next, hopefully, the next volume they bring out. Well, I'm sure we'll see that come out at some point here. So, and then they give a little history of the of the creators, the creators there, uh, the adapters, I guess. Right. In this case, you'd yeah, say the adapters. Yeah. Well, Roy Thomas, I mean, he's somebody that certainly grew up with uh, reading uh, uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs and uh, Robert E. Howard. I mean, his just his adaptations of of uh, Conan, also, and then of course the stuff he's written for Marvel and DC. Uh, Certainly a, a true legend there. And Pablo Marcus, uh, again, the, the work that he did, too. But, uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for bringing this in, Kevin. You're I welcome. certainly do appreciate it. I hope everybody else maybe has gotten, uh, has enjoyed this. And that if you're local and, and you need me, I can reorder this here. If you're not, your local comic shop should be able to order this, reorder this from Diamond with uh, from Dark Horse. You know, go go bug them. Hey man, I saw this video. Here, go reorder this because I want to give you, I want to give you thirty bucks for this. But if you like these videos, as always, like I said, be sure to hit the bell for notification. Like, uh, you know, subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share. And until next time, thanks again for watching. Take care. Thanks again.